Can I tell you a secret? Listen, women have been manipulating you guys for a very long time. And some of you call it love. Some of you say, oh, it's so cute. You know how she does these little things. Bro, she is manipulating you and you're just there being the fool. So guys, today I'm going to tell you how women manipulate men. How women manipulate you on a daily. Those things you call love are just manipulations. So make sure you watch this video until the end because it promises to be very educative as well as entertaining as always, you know? So guys, welcome welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, IJ, and this is Real Talk with IJ. If you're already subscribed, mwah, if you're yet to subscribe, what are you waiting for? So someone actually corrected me in the comment section because I'm always saying subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And someone said, dear IJ, it's subscribe. I'm sorry, I speak really fast. That's why you don't hear the B, okay? So please subscribe, <laughs> all right? So without wasting any of your time, let us dive straight into this video. So one of my biggest one when it comes to, you know, women's manipulations and all of that is the proof to me that you love me. You see this one, for me, I feel like this is the biggest one. Like, yes, I think personally, I think this is the biggest one. You're dating this girl, you're dating this lady. She might even be your wife. But each time she wants to get something from you that she knows that, okay, maybe it's out of the budget or you might not even, you might not be able to afford it at that point or it's just not really necessary. She asks you for this stuff. She, she wants you to do something for her and you're like, you can't do it or you can't afford it. And you're trying to explain to her like, you know, babe, I can't do this right now and all of that. And she's like, prove to me that you love me. If you do this, it's a proof that you love me. If you don't love me, then it's okay. That's fine. Then you start running around like little urchins looking for a way to prove to this woman that you love her, especially a girl who you've not had sex with. So you think, mm, if I can just do this for her, if I can just pay her fees, you know, if I can just buy this phone for her, if I can do this, then it's a big proof that, you know, that you love her. But bro, she does not really care about that love. What she wants is for you to do what she's asking you to do for her. It could even be something as small as running errands for her, like help me pick up this stuff. And you're like, babe, I'm not in that environment. And she's like, oh, you don't even love me because if you love me, you will do it for me. Like you will prove that you love me by, you know, going out of your way to, you know, make sure that you get this stuff for me. Like, bro, you guys have been, you know, these women have been manipulating you guys for so long. So you need to stop. If it's something that you cannot do, if it's something you cannot provide, stand and say, I can't do it. I cannot provide it. Okay. I love you. You should take my word for it because I've been showing you forever so me not doing this one doesn't mean anything so if i don't do it, it doesn't mean i don't love you and if i do it it's no proof actually okay so stop letting women manipulate you with this proof to me that you love me technique like it's just crazy another big one <laughs> another big one on my list on how women manipulate you guys is the withdrawal of sex you see all of you that that are sex freaks that you know if you don't have sex with your woman if you don't get sex you are just crazy women will manipulate you with sex they will withhold sex from you withdraw sex from you and you will beg and do all of their biddings just because you want to have sex so especially you guys that simp god women will promise you sex oh don't worry i'll take care of you i'll do this to you if you only do this if you send me this if you buy me this if you provide this for me if you do this if you do that i will i will i will rock your world Ah, <laughs> and then you, you, a big man like you, will start behaving like a child, doing everything as if she's using jazz on you just because you want to have sex. Maybe you've even hit it once and maybe it was really mind blowing. So right now you want to hit it again. So you're willing to do anything because if she doesn't give you the sex, you might run mad, bro. Women are manipulating you. Yes. Whether she's your wife or your girlfriend or your side chick. If she starts telling you, I'm not going to open my legs for you because you promised me this and you refuse to do it. Oh, what about the phone you said you were going to get me? Or what about my rent? Oh, you're here to have sex. I'm not going to do that. Yes, they use it like, you know, it's a bargain. It's a bargain and that's manipulation. That, yeah, I don't care what you guys say, but that is manipulation. If she withholds it, she's trying to control you. And if you fall for it because you are a sex freak, you can go crazy. If you fall for it, she's going to keep repeating it. So each time she wants something from you, she's going to withhold sex. Each time she wants something for you, she's going to withhold sex because she knows that you're going to beg and try as much as possible to do her bidding just because you really, really want the sex. So guys, wake up and stop letting women manipulate you. The third way women manipulate one, and this is the my favorite one also, and this like this is related to like the Igbos in Nigeria, like not just the Igbos, because I know a lot of girls are doing this. It's the excessive compliments. Yes, you heard me right. 
when the woman starts singing your praise, when the woman start calling you isi miridi of four, you know, a kataka woke, woke ke, you know, when they start praising you, when they start calling you names, making you feel sweet, you know, calling you sweetheart, loving, darling, with my sugar pie, blah, 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 bro. A request is coming behind. Yes, you heard me right. I mean, let me know in the comment section because I feel like a lot of you have experienced this particular one. So let me know in the comment section. When your woman wants to gain favor from you, when the woman wants you to give her something or forgive her for something that she did, she's going to start giving you excess compliments. She's going to start making you feel sweet. And this is not only your, like, your re sexual relationship. It could even be like your work, your work colleague, okay, the a lady you work with, you know, she might want you to help her finish a tax or help her out with something. It could even be a school colleague, okay? She wants you to do her assignment. She wants you to help her do something. She's asking you, oh, you look so fine today. Oh my God. Like, see how sweet you are. Fine boy or more. Anybody that is your girlfriend is really enjoying. Like, you're too sweet. You know, see how fine you are. You smell so good. Like, my God, like these glasses really suits you well. When they start praising you like this, just relax. A request is coming. Because what are they doing? They try to boost your ego, make you feel big, make you feel important. So that when your shoulders are now high like this, feeling like a king, when they drop the requests, you cannot say no. Because at that point, you are falling your hand. Like at that point, you've embarrassed yourself if you say no. So by the time they've praised you and you, you, you felt very big, okay? When they now throw the request, because you don't want to embarrass yourself, you have no choice but to, you know, figure out what to do to please them because they have been manipulating you with the excessive compliments, guys. Now you see where I'm going, yeah? So don't fall for it. When the woman starts praising you, tell her, hold up. What do you want from me? Tell me, what do you want from me? What do you want? Because I know you want something, so spill it. Tell me, what do you want from me? Okay, stop. <laughs> okay that's how women manipulate you another way women manipulate you guys is with the crocodile tears yes women are criers have you seen where you 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 catch a woman cheating red-handed she bursts into tears she starts crying and talking about how it's because you neglected her it's because you don't always see her because she's always so lonely it's because you're always so busy working she starts crying and instead of you to focus on the problem she cheated on you or you caught her chatting with someone or just something that she you know that she's really guilty of because you are a man and you want to always see your woman happy you forget that she's the one that fucked up here and you start apologizing and say okay it's sorry it's fine it's fine stop it i don't want you to hurt yourself like it's okay fine it's okay i will do it it's okay i will do it bro you think she's really crying from her heart she knows that you cannot stand to see her tears yes that's the honest truth she knows that you cannot stand to see her tears that's the truth women will manipulate you with the tears because they know that you love them so much so next time your woman is crying bro if she's really guilty of whatever or if if maybe she's telling you to get her something buy her something and you're like i can't do this or i can't do that and she starts crying i'm like you know it's okay it's fine i'll be okay i'll be fine it's okay don't buy <laughs> If it's not in your budget, if it's not a do or die, if it's something that you don't plan on doing, don't do it, okay? And don't feel guilty about it because a woman who loves you should have an understanding. A woman who loves you, if it's the act of cheating on all of that, she should accept her wrong and sincerely feel sorry and not just start crying because, you know, she wants you to just, you know, look at her tears and forget about her mistakes and all of that. So don't fall for them tears. If she's wrong, if she's guilty, tell her that she's guilty and she's wrong and she needs to start apologizing rather than crying because you're not going to fall for that manipulation lastly and this one is actually very annoying even to me as a girl because i have seen this happen even amongst friends you know this you know i'm just joking kind of gestures that women would tell you they use it to disrespect you okay they use it to disrespect you and they use it to try to manipulate you you know where your woman will throw like you know um random you know um bands that should maybe make you feel embarrassed or you know make you feel small just because she's trying to gain power over you to manipulate you to be able to control you don't take it okay let me tell you an example so for instance you're going to have dinner with your girl so you guys are like in the mall and you know you guys are trying to you're eating and she sees a very nice handbag or a dress and she's like ah i would have asked you to buy me this dress right now but you are very stingy like i know that you're not going to want to do it and you're like what do you mean she's like come on i'm just joking 
bro don't fall for it because now you want to prove that you're not a stingy person now you want to prove that come on i don't withhold money okay come let's get it don't fall for it though that's how they manipulate you they throw those things to make you feel bad about yourself and then you feel the need to do better you feel see except you're really that kind of person now don't lie to yourself as if you're that if you are that kind of person then you have to work on yourself and be better but if she's only always throwing those kind of talk because she wants to get something from you or because she wants to make you feel bad so that you can do something for for her which is the manipulation we're talking about do not fall for it if she says i wanted to tell you to get this back for me but you're too stingy i know you're not going to do it tell her ah babe which one is i'm too stingy i bought something for you for don't worry next time we'll buy it still do not buy it because that's a means she's trying to use to manipulate you okay so that's the end of the video for today let me know what you think about this video in the comment section if you're not yet subscribed please guys please subscribe all right and guys i have a youtube membership i know i don't talk about it more often but please join my membership there are like three levels like the first one is just to support me to say thank you for your all of your amazing content and you know i'll try to make something exclusive for all of my members real soon maybe we'll start going on youtube lives for members only okay where we can chit chat directly and talk about topics that you want to talk about but anyways until then keep living life giving champs and bye for now Mwah.